Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, you've been grinding in Pixel Heroes, collecting all these awesome characters with flashy designs, but now you're stuck wondering, are they actually any good? Well, you're in luck, because today we're diving into our ultimate Pixel Heroes tier list. Whether you're assembling your dream team or just trying to figure out who's worth keeping around, I've got you covered. Now, I know how frustrating it can be when you invest time into a character, only to find out they're not cutting it on the battlefield. But don't worry, the great thing about Pixel Heroes is that the idle combat system means it's not the end of the world if things go sideways in a fight. Still, if you want to crush content like a pro, you'll want to know which characters are the real MVPs and which ones. Well, let's just say they're better off sitting on the bench, so let's get into it. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking heroes in Pixel Heroes. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching! My friends, only 0.1% of viewers subscribe. If you like this type of content, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance for your support. The heroes in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Darcy, Novice Swordsman Executor, Hunter Ivank, Jack Orc, and Deadeye Jalaika. Now, let's talk about the D tier heroes in Pixel Heroes, the ones who are, well, let's just say, not exactly top tier material. These are the heroes you'll likely unlock early on, and while they're decent for getting a feel of the game, you're gonna want to move on to bigger and better things pretty quickly. I mean, sure, they're not completely useless, Think of them as your stepping stones. They're great for learning the ropes, but when you've got those shiny B-tier heroes available, why settle for less, right? But hey, don't feel too bad for these guys. They've got their own charm and can be fun to mess around with, especially if you're just starting out. However, in most situations, these heroes tend to struggle and they definitely need some love in the form of improvements. So, if you're serious about dominating the game, it's probably best to leave these heroes behind and focus on the ones that can really make a difference. The heroes in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Whisper of Wind, Royal, Shepherd's Dream Sisinina, Phoenix Garuda, Silver Hunter Diana, Bounty Hunter Edda, Novice Magician Lilith, Glory Excalibur Alande, Ice Guardian Ainu, Duo Lancer Minos, Shaman Abka, and Spirit Prophet Zorshan. Alright, so let's talk about the C tier heroes in Pixel Heroes. Now, I know what you're thinking. C tier? That doesn't sound too great, and honestly, you're not wrong. These heroes aren't terrible, but they're definitely not the ones you want to rely on as you progress through the game. They have a few strengths here and there, and in certain boss fights or tricky battles, they might just save your bacon. But let's be real, the moment you get your hands on something better, it's time to swap them out. These heroes shine brightest in the early game, but once you start building a stronger team, their usefulness fades pretty quickly. But hey, don't write them off completely. C-tier heroes have a decent set of balanced abilities that make them versatile, if not exceptional. They're the kind of characters you can still make work if you're in a pinch, but you'll probably find yourself wishing for a little more power or specialization. They're solid placeholders, good enough to get the job done, but not amazing enough to stick around for the long haul. So, if you got a C-tier hero in your lineup right now, just know they're holding the fort until someone better comes along. And when that time comes, don't hesitate to make the switch. The heroes in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Stellar Master Alcade, God of Death Thanatos, Dawn Paladin Brigitte, Divine Hammer Frosty, Divine Dancer Gronru, Dragonborn Mona, Forest Princess Eleanor, Wings of Wish White Star, Blast Bunny Alice, Acolyte Raffaella, Moonborn Hudson, Ent Garrett, Iron Fist, Ryu Lin, Siren Syndra, Eternal Spear Aurelia, Green Ranger Caroline, Fuzzy Prowler Anatta, and Barbarian Puck. Alright, so let's dive into the B-tier heroes in Pixel Heroes. Now, just because they're sitting in B-tier doesn't mean they're the bench warmers of your roster. Oh no, these heroes are like the Swiss army knives of the game, solid, reliable, and totally dependable when you need them. They're not going to be the MVPs every single match, but they've got your back when you're grinding through the story mode or trying to keep your sanity in those intense competitive matches. Think of them as your trusty sidekicks. They might not steal the spotlight, but they'll definitely help you get the job done. But here's the thing, don't sleep on these guys. With the right upgrades and a bit of strategy, these B-tier heroes can punch above their weight. They might not have the flashy skills or the raw power of the top tier heroes, but in the right circumstances, they can totally hold their own and even give those A and S tier heroes a run for their money. 
So, while they might not be your first pick, they're definitely worth keeping in your lineup, especially when you need to fill in those gaps or support your stronger units. The heroes in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Shroud Walker Chen, Star Guardian Freya, Succubus Adlif Morrigan, Goddess of Death Hala, Lost Torrent Yuna, Snowflakes Analia, Lady Justice Femis, King of Uruk Gil, Teresa Toxicologist, and Azure Phoenix. Alright, so let's dive into the A tier heroes in Pixel Heroes. These are the ones you can always count on when things get heated. They've got that perfect balance of power, precision, and punch. You know, the kind that makes you feel like you're in control. Sure, they might not be the absolute best like the S tier heroes, but don't sleep on them. These myth units are solid, reliable, and when you're up against lower tier opponents, they're going to dominate the battlefield like it's nothing. Now, here's the thing with A tier heroes. They're strong, they're versatile, and they work well with others. You'll find that their skills have this sweet synergy that just clicks when you're strategizing. However, there are moments where they might not shine as brightly as their S tier counterparts, like when you need that extra bit of oomph in a clutch situation. But overall, these heroes are a blast to play with, and they're going to give you that upper hand more often than not. So, if you're looking for a reliable squad that can handle almost anything thrown their way, A tier is where it's at. The heroes in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Goddess of War Valkyrie, Psychopomp Karen, God of Time Kronos, Floria Melissa, and Camarilla Bloodline Toreador. Alright, let's dive into the S tier heroes in Pixel Heroes. These are the absolute heavyweights, the creme de la creme of the game. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on one of these myth heroes, consider yourself blessed by the RNG gods. These characters aren't just strong, they're practically overpowered, with abilities that can carry you through the toughest parts of the storyline and dominate in any game mode. Trust me, if you've got them, you should be pouring all your resources into leveling them up. Now, I know what you're thinking, are they really that good? Yes, they are. These S tier heroes are the ones everyone dreams of having in their roster. We're talking top tier damage output, incredible utility, and the kind of versatility that makes them essential in any team composition. If you can snag one of these bad boys, you're set. So don't hold back. Use them, abuse them, and watch as they tear through your enemies like a hot knife through butter. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.